sorry cap and then write con database is equal to g c new and once again copy this mysql connection and write it here and make bracket bracket close and copy this string con string and paste it in your brackets now in the next line write my sql command and once again this cap sign and write cmd database by the way I want to write this database B capital so I can recognize this database okay and then is equal to G E new sorry G C new gc new and once again copy this mysql command and write it here and in here write bracket and bracket close and in between this bracket and bracket close make one double quote comma write or copy this con database variable and paste it onto this second place after comma and in these double quote we will write our query which we are going to execute by or in my SQL database so we will go to our database once again and we will just click ok here and we it will guide to our database and it's open i have already made one database here called database and it contains one table called edata you can make your table according to your use and just go to edit table data and you can see I have employee ID name surname age username and password here so what I will do is I will right click it and I will first of all I will go to one query tab this query one and I will right click and send to SQL and I will select select all statement and it will present me a select statement so my database name is database my table name is edata so database dot edata I will write select star from database dot edata in as my query so I will write select star from database dot e data okay this is my database name this is my table name now in the next line and yeah don't forget to write this semicolon because when you go here you can see this semicolon is there when you execute the query so you need to write the semicolon here also select star from database and this is all in double quotes okay 
and in the next line write my SQL data reader once again this cap sign and write my reader and close it and make a space here and this will read our data and now I will make a try catch block try catch and in this try block I will write my code and in this catch I will write exception cap ex and when this exception come it will show me the message in message box message box show and in the bracket write ex and write this arrow sign and write message so it will show some message if your database encounters some error and in the try block uh, you need to write what you need to copy this con database variable which we have used with mysql connection con database copy and paste it here and write this arrow sign or pointer and write open and bracket closed and in the next line write or copy this my s my reader for reading my database paste it here is equal to copy this command database for my mysql command and give this arrow sign once again and then write execute reader bracket and bracket closed okay so this completes our code to connect our mysql database to our application and now and now we will try to run this application and see if it got some error or it can run so just go to this green button start debugging press it and press yes would you like to build it say yes and if our code is correct then it will run and yes our code is correct so it's running and when you click this ok button our query is also correct so if our query is executed then this will not show any error that means our code is correct to check whether our code is really working we, what we can do is go here in in your try catch block first of all go to your form design and just note the name of this text box so the name of this text box is you can see here in the property tab the text box name is message text so just copy this text box name for this text text box 
and just click this small arrow and right click check multi line so we can make this a bigger box and in here we can see our data and just go there and just once again click ok we will go to our code and in here in the try catch block paste that message box test text name and then give this arrow sign and write text and write plus is equal to what this plus will do is this will keep on writing in your text box it will not replace your text and then write bracket and bracket close and in here just copy this my reader variable name paste it in the box and write this arrow button and just write get int 32 and in the bracket write 0 this line what it will explain is we are taking the first column of your database and we are going to display in this message box so the first column of my database is employee id and it should show me one two three four five six seven up to seven that's why i have taken this get int because it's a integer variable type so once again i will run my program i will click yes and it's running now and when i press ok and it says invalid access to the field read so i will close it and in here what i will go here this error comes because i haven't enclosed my message with a while statement so I need to write while bracket and this I will close this message here yeah. so do this so I have written this while statement and close this message in that and in this while I will write copy this my reader paste it here and with this arrow sign I will write read so it will read our database so just do this code and now once again run your application and it runs and press ok and you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this 1 to 7 number is representing this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we have successfully extracted our database EID column in our program so I think this is a very long video so I will stop it here and in the next video probably I will show you how to make a login or sign in page with this windows form application in c++ so stay tuned and please re rate comment and subscribe and bye for now